Bayern Munich, Bundesliga champions, German Cup winners, Champions League victors, and now conquerors of the football world. And it's all thanks to one man, Hansi Flick. How has a relatively unknown coach elevated his standing in such a short period of time? And how did he turn Bayern Munich from a crisis club into an unbeaten machine? Flick worked on four main sectors. Tactics, mentality, morale, and training. He's proven himself as one of the best coaches in the world and a humble one at that. In a team in profi football, is it really so that it's not just a one-man show. I'm just a team player, I've always been. The 55-year-old has mixed his progressive training methods with a simple human touch to bring Bayern back to the top. And he's not finished yet. To appreciate Flick's success at Bayern, you have to first look at the tumultuous position the club was in when he arrived. He was handed the job in November 2019, after Niko Kovac's side had been spanked 5-1 by Eintracht Frankfurt. It was an embarrassing result which left Bayern in fourth place, but the cracks had long been widening for more than a year. Eintracht was just the final straw for Kovac. The football was dire and the players were reportedly unhappy with the Croatian's man management and training. This is for me a wonder what here happened. Enter Hansi Flick. Not expected to be Bayern's saviour, but rather an interim solution to bail out a sinking ship. However, he not only steadied the course, he quietly put together the world's best team. But where did it all start for Flick? At Bayern Munich, of course. He won six titles with the club in the 80s before retiring prematurely due to injury. That winning mentality and deep connection to the club has clearly helped him as a coach. His first coaching stop was a bit smaller than Bayern, in the fifth division with Victoria Bamantal. He wasn't particularly successful either and even suffered relegation. But in 2000, he joined ambitious Hoffenheim and took them from the fourth tier into the third division. It's there where he developed his coaching identity. Ja, gut, unsere Stärke ist normalerweise die Offensive. Ja, wir spielen die Chancen eigentlich sehr gut heraus. Flick then joined the Germany setup as assistant to Joachim Löw in 2006. He was integral to their World Cup win in 2014. Many consider his tactical input invaluable, and his personal touch was also lauded. Flick developed trust between the players and coaching staff, and that team spirit helped drive Germany to victory. In 2019, he was reunited with Bayern Munich as Kovac's assistant, but it wasn't long before he was thrust into the limelight to take on the main job. Flick's first league game in charge saw a rousing and dominant 4-0 victory over Borussia Dortmund. It was the spark the club needed, and slowly Flick started to get Bayern back to their best. From mid-December, the Bavarians went on an incredible streak, winning 29 of their next 30 matches in all competitions. They cleaned up the Bundesliga, the German Cup, and the Champions League. Du hast einen Wahnsinnsjob gemacht. Du kannst stolz darauf sein. Flick forged Europe's most deadly attack. Bayern scored 116 goals in just 36 matches, an average of more than three goals per game. The pinnacle came with an 8-2 thrashing of Barcelona, as Bayern's relentless and ruthless attack swept all opponents aside. The crowning victory was a 1-0 defeat of Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League final. So how exactly did Hansi Flick turn it all around? Flick's first task, 
turning Bayern back into a pressing machine. Bayern have been pressing them when they've tried to pass their way out of difficulty and they've caught them again. Oh, Coutinho's touch his first time and it's sweet as you like. The progressive approach meant Bayern were always on the front foot, something Flick outlined during his very first press conferences. Ich möchte, wie ich, um Ja, dass die Mannschaft die Initiative ergreift, dass sie wirklich auch nach vorne verteidigt, dass sie das, den Ball haben will, ja, und äh, auch mit Ball, wie ich auch mal die Qualität, die innen steckt, einfach auch zeigt und gegen den Ball natürlich auch versucht, wirklich so schnell als möglich den Ball wieder, wieder zu äh, erobern. Bayern began to harass and harry their opponents ferociously in order to force turnovers. Their energy and motivation was relentless and they bullied every opposition they faced. Three of their first five goals against Barcelona came within 10 seconds of regaining possession from pressing. Flick also gave the team license to play their way out of trouble. The players knew each other's roles and had Flick's trust. Der Trainer gibt das äh, ziemlich konsequent, äh, also äh, alternativlos vor, äh, was zu tun ist. Deswegen haben wir eine gewisse Sicherheit auf dem Platz, weil wir wissen, was der Nebenmann äh, macht. And they weren't afraid to mix pragmatism with possession football when necessary. Launching fast transitions to catch out defenses. Bayern played risky football, but Flick still found a good balance in defence. He paired David Alaba with Jerome Boateng. And the Bayern veterans combined with Manuel Neuer to provide an at times impenetrable wall. In fact, Flick's team kept 19 clean sheets in 36 matches. Flick enforced a very high line for his defence. While it left them exposed at times, it also aided their attacking game. The compact setup allowed Bayern to create more chances for their talented front line. Flick also made Canadian rookie Alfonso Davies his first choice left back, a crucial factor in Bayern's new approach in defence. The roadrunner, they have to buy the roadrunner. Me, 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 me. The youngster's pace was not only handy in attack, but also when covering in defence. Davies often reached speeds of more than 35 kilometres per hour. But perhaps most importantly, Flick rediscovered Bayern's mojo. After the team's drop in form, he set about lifting his players' morale which included massaging the egos of established veterans and placing trust in talented youngsters. Wenn die Klarheit da ist, dass es einfach auch für alle wichtig ist und uh, deswegen ist für mich ja, ein Anliegen, wie ich mit jedem zu sprechen, das ist eine Aufgabe, die ich jetzt als in, gerade in, den, in der kurzen Zeit auch machen muss und um jeden vielleicht da auch nochmal darauf hinzuweisen, was in ihm steckt, aber was er natürlich auch für eine Verantwortung uh, ja, für den Verein auch hat. Take Thomas Müller. Under Kovac, he'd been a bit part player, but he was the first name on Flick's team sheet. And Flick singled him out for special praise as his on-field general. Der auf dem Platz sehr wichtig ist, der taktisch ein sehr gutes Gefühl hat. Ja, man kann fast sagen, der so ein verlängerter Arm auch, auch von einem Trainer sein kann. Oh, er macht es gut, er, er führt die Mannschaft, er führt die Spieler um sich herum. Müller repaid that faith. In the Bundesliga alone, he scored eight goals and made 17 assists within a 23-game spell under Flick. Flick also placed his trust in Joshua Kimmich, pushing the one-time defender higher up the pitch, and the youngster fully embraced his new role. We have decided that we have him on the six, because I am the opinion, or we are the opinion, that he can use his qualities and his strengths better. Kimmich is now one of the best midfielders in the world. Another example of how Flick gets the most out of his players. Good, 
Flick's coaching team also performed wonders during the coronavirus pandemic. No club returned from the enforced break fitter or stronger. All the players went through an incredible physical transformation. Well, almost everyone. I try not to be uh, that muscular than my teammates. Less weight on my bones, then my, my bones uh, keep a little bit longer. So, While Bayern's fitness guru, Dr. Holger Broich, was behind the new training schedules, Flick's drive and determination also motivated his players during a difficult period. With the lockdown, it was for us also clear that we direct wieder anfangen wollen. For us, it was clear that when we was machen wollen, we all didn't know when it fängt wieder an. Ja, wollen wir die Spieler natürlich zusammenhalten, auch als Team zusammenhalten. Wenn du diese Idee, diese Art und Weise, wie man Fußball spielt, auch spielen möchtest, ja, dann muss jeder zu 100 auch sich damit identifizieren. The team's preparation saw them in superior shape to all of their opponents, both in the Bundesliga and the Champions League. Against every team they faced, they were faster, stronger, better. With the Club World Cup title also in the Siebenerstrasse Trophy cabinet, Hansi Flick has now won it all with Bayern Munich. We from Bayern Munich, we have our Mir Samir uh, slogan, and the slogan means we are uh, afraid from nobody. Flick buys into that attitude, and he's hungry for even more success. We have Ziele erreicht, die wir erreichen wollten. We have auch gefeiert. But now it's over, now it's over, and now we have to focus on the new goals. So what next for Hansi Flick? So what next for Hansi Flick? He's Bayern through and through, and looks destined to forge the next great dynasty at the Bavarian Giants.